Welcome back, adventurers. Okay, we got to the friendly arm in. And what we're going to do oh, now talk. is do some fast traveling because I stupidly sold a scroll down here in Nash Kel that I need for a quest here, which gives us a ring plus one. And I completely forgot that I cool, sold that. I and we're going to fast travel back then to the friendly arm in and give the guy the spider his boots and his bottle of wine because that's about like 900 experience points for that quest and then we'll fast travel back to Nashkel so I'm going to try to do most of that uh, off screen and except that we get waylaid by enemies or if any of our NPCs uh, talks to us alright I'll be back all right, we bought the scroll. Gold and packing steel. All right, we bought the scroll back. Not time to get out of here. Luckily, I remembered where I sold it. Uh, I got that and a Garion scroll mixed up. Um, do got to drop off some of the useless stuff somewhere. Uh, we'll be back. Another fast travel. Okay, and traveling to the friendly arm in, we have been waylaid by enemies. Yes. Okay. What now, I wonder? I will show you time yeah. for a better yeah. roof and tumble. Your wish? I understand. Where to now? All right. Yes. Do you seek enlightenment? <laughs> Yes, Rasada, I seek enlightenment from the almighty monks. Alright, this is just part of his natural quest, so we gotta keep talking to him. Uh, so we can do his quest, because there are a couple good items we can get from him during his quest. I'd like to know more about the missing soul sun monks. After discovering our fellow sun soul monks had vanished from their monastery, we felt the truth must lie boring. behind the name Alagoth. We spread out in pairs to investigate further. Gamaz and I used to life on Callumport streets. What up, Gamaz? Searched for rumors on the streets about Katla. Much of our investigation took place at night, under the benign gaze of Selune. You see, although the sun shines more brightly, it is the moon that reveals the truths hmm. hidden in darkness. You say so, dude. One night, we witnessed several shadowy figures assaulting a lone man on the street. We raced to his defense. The to what? Punch and miss him? And we drove off his attackers. They were so scared of your missing fists. Despite our intervention, the man was gravely wounded. I remained with him, tending his wounds as best I could while calling for help. Gamaz, however, pursued the attackers. Because he could probably hit things, and you can't, because you suck. I shouted to him to come back, but he did not listen. Sometimes I wonder whether things would have been different if I had followed Gamaz instead of remaining with the wounded man. <laughs> well, well, you did call out. When help finally arrived, I ran after Gamaz. I found him only a few streets away. My brother had fought bravely, slaying three of his attackers before he was brought down. Once more, I cried out for help. Men came soon, but not to aid me. Instead, they arrested me for fighting in the streets, leaving Gamaz to die in a pool of his Where own did blood. he? When the guards released me the following day, Gamaz maybe, had died. Maybe, maybe not. They said he had been slain by shadow thieves. The guards could not even give me his body. For they no body, no death. Everyone knows that. Classic TV knowledge right there. You are right to consider the good with the disheartened by the tragedy. My fellow monks returned to Calumport. Gamaz and I had entered the monastery together as brothers. <laughs> Brother lovers. I could not return without him. Neither could I remain in Atkatla. A city that forever holds evil memories for me. Evil! I traveled north. At first I thought I might visit the Monastery of the Sun in Waterdeep, which they called the City of Splendors. Yet I was in no hurry to arrive. Every day since entering the Order of the Sun's Soul, I had striven to fill my heart with radiance that I may share it with others. Fill something like the death, I felt only the shadows of grief 
and dis but perhaps I have dwelt too long. Yes, you have minutes. dwelt what else too long. I tell? tell me more. Your training. My training at the Sun Soul Monastery began the moment the kindly monk brought this the is how you inside its walls. <laughs> Missed things As you might fist. imagine, there was a great deal of physical training. Rasad, you couldn't hit Jack. At first, we were assigned chores and exercises. Because you we don't know how to fight. envy upon the older initiates. The monks taught us to read and write, and why it is important to do both with careful thought. We practiced debate, studied history, and answered endless quizzes about the 9,000 mysteries of Saloon. Like, literally, they probably should have met Rasad, like, level 8, when you first found him, because he sucks. We learned to <laughs> meditate upon the moon, the shards, and the stars. We also learned to meditate on the darkness between them, for it falls to us to battle the servants of Salune's dark I mean, monks system. just like second Shark. edition ding ding are not good. At last, we learned to combine our learning, devotion, and physical prowess. It's pretty mystical to me, but it seemed that way to me at first. But Gamaz, none of the other monks could defeat him in combat, okay. even among the elder students. Gamaz stood as a it seems you've learned a lot from your misfortunes. I thought it best that you should know my past, since what else can I tell you? That's it for now, dude. Alright, charm person, and we'll pick up a gym, and two bastard swords we can sell. Alright, let's get out of here. To the friendly arm in, we'll be back. Alright, we're, we're back to give the dwarf back his stuff. Uh, we just have to talk to him like three times. A stout hammer will fix most any bandit. All right, that's one. You cannot get better. Two. A stout hammer will fix most any bandit. And three. And we gotta level up for him. You're a clear fellow. So let's level her up. All right. So now she could probably open up most locks in and around the city. Uh, that will need done. Alright. Where to now? Of course. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> now we're gonna sell some of, of the course. useless loot that we <laughs> picked up on the way here. And we'll be back when I fast travel to the next town to get the ring of protection plus one. Alright, and we're and we're back in uh Barquost to do this mission. Um uh, basically south of here you find a scroll and it's to the this dude's wife she's in this house Don and Miriam salutations see blah 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 he's been gone can't no one could find him he did but we found a letter to the wife my training did not prepare me for such extended get back here activity and now she will give us a ring plus one, which we want. Boom, and we get 300 experience points for it. simple task. All right, now we're going to do another easy mission. Uh, Garrick, the NPC bard, his like I guess you can call it, like opening side quest mission. Uh, you know, I think you get like 900 experience points for it, so we'll we'll do that. Someone else might get a level. Even though we won't be taking him and our whole team is fatigued, it doesn't really matter. It's a pretty easy battle. There's Garrick. There. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, we're looking for work, buddy. 300 gold, you say? Sure, why not? Everybody walk around the corner. Do the loot, 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 do the loot, loot, loot. Excuse me. So it does that cutscene, but it still forces you to talk, talk to a Silky yourself. Mercenaries. Blah blah blah, 300 gold coins. Supposedly three ruffians are supposed to come here. Uh, it's basically... She wants to get the gems off of these dudes without paying, have us kill them. But since that's evil, we won't do it. Plus we get more experience points for killing her. So... And her stamp is a plus one that we could sell for some loot. Gold. We love gold. Uh, stop this madness. We're not murdering innocent men. And that's all she wrote. 400 gold. Pushing the vulnerability. We'll take it. And Rasad got his level. And now we can talk yes, to Garrick. Sure. 
Nope. So he'll pretty much stay here the rest of the game. I wish in the enhanced edition they just made everyone go back to the friendly army and just like one spot so I didn't have like NPCs all over the friggin' place. Your wish? Alright, let's level up our monk. Uh, blah blah blah, sure, why not? Completely useless. Okay. There we go. His lore is increased by one. Hit points eight. Additional skill points ten. Worst skills ever. But since he's a level three monk, I believe he gets a special ability now. Yeah. Sun Soul Ray. Unless he got that on level two. Let's see what level, level three. Let's see. Sun Sol Ray. Oh yeah, he got that on second level. Once per day. Pretty pretty stupid. Unless you're resting an awful lot. Where to now? Done and done. Alright, there's one more easy mission down here. Uh Firebead, the dwarf from the intro candle keep mission. I believe this is his house right here. I think it shows it on the new map, yeah. He basically it's wants us to go across the street and buy him a book. Nowadays. Oh, he's not a dwarf. Is he a dwarf? I oh, no. Hey, sure, the faithful coin. Blah, blah, blah. Sure, we'll get that for you. A simple task. Commoners, commoners, commoners. Oh, we have to talk to the town crier. He will give us a mission. Where's this town crier at? There he is. Basically kill a rogue cleric, get 5,000 gold, boom. Alright, we'll probably do that mission on the way to do Minsk mission. I think it's sorta of in the same place. Here now, get out. I don't like your type in here. I don't like you either. We're wanted men. <laughs> you tell him, Marl. And Do you mind? I'm off to go shopping. You are left the party, aren't you? This all reminds me of a time when Betsy and I were still. Oh, I'm so silly. I don't know what Betsy. Tee hee, hee hee, hee hee, woo. Okay. All right. Hey, I'll take whatever shape I want. I'm sick of you freakish adventurers going out concerning with God knows what and dragging your trouble back to my hometown. What do you say to that? Uh, I said I had enough about your tone, mister. Stop pushing or I push back. Uh, I just do what I think is right. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, you think it's funny, do you? You mess up the local economy with your treasure. You upset the balance of nature. You flash your magic around the cost of it. Maybe some somebody's son thinks it's fun and goes and gets himself killed. Uh. Uh. Okay. Guess we have to kill him. You just got stunned! Okay, that was... Oh well, at least we could get a, a gem and someone cooled out of it. Sorry, Marl. I probably could resolve that better, but whatever. I got some cheap beer for ya. Sure. That's the book you need to really across the street. Uh, let's see what else th this place has. It has a medium shield plus one, which isn't bad. Mm, glitter dust. I think that's a level two or three. Yeah, level two. All right.
And we'll talk to Hepis over here. <laughs> awesome. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Let me in the house. Where is the hole? Always have trouble finding the hole. It's a a hard to task. find. Decent folk nowadays. Good on you if you save the day. I can't believe that gave us a reputation increase. So but the reason we do it is originally just got this book, blah blah blah. But now we got a scroll case. Which is just more stuff, uh, you know, we get <laughs> just another form of a container. I don't know why they separate it, like scroll cases, potion cases, ring bags. They should have just added a bag of holding, or like two bags of holding, just to hold all of our junk. So, they didn't put a bag of holding in the vault, even in the 2.0 edition, it's it just those three things still, whatever. Simple task. Alright, now what we're gonna do is we, we just got three magical items. So we're gonna identify them. Which will require a sleep. Everyone's fatigued anyway, so it requires a sleep, but we'll do all that off camera. Alright, we'll be back once everything's identified. Alright, we're back. We got everything identified. This Quarter stay at plus one, we could sell for a couple hundred gold. The golden pantaloons, which uh, they give you a funny pan story. And then another ring of princes, we will put that on Minsk, because Minsk is hurting for some AC. Uh, I think I even like him with a medium shield plus one. And then he also interrupted us because it's time task. to do his quest. A simple task. So we're going to head out and do Minsk quest now. Let's see. Of course, <laughs> yeah. You have been waylaid by enemies and must defend Where's yourself. Of course, <laughs> yeah. Go for the eyes, boo! Go for the eyes! Uh, that player just got jacked up. Minsk. Get out of there. Yes. What now, I wonder? Uh. Where's he now? Yes. A simple task. A simple task. I think there's a cave up here or something. Oh, I could completely. Oh yeah, this will be the Exvart like My little blaming. city. Cut you down Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. No, we're not I'm resting. Tired. I must rest. What now? Done. I'm done. Eat My training did not prepare me for uh, such extended activity. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Night singer. For sure. Go crazy, guys. For sure. Minsk, are you attacking? Also, eat flaming. Let's go for the eyes, boy. Go for the eyes. 
Attack! Eat flaming! Or uh, possibly frosty. Death! Night Singer, eat my power. Alright, and you get like no experience for killing at like 15, but I think we get a whole bunch of like little tiny bits of gold and sometimes they have little gems on it, you can sell for like 15 gold. And the short sewers I won't even bother picking up. Oh, grease, I love me grease. Alright. Where in God's name does this bear come from? Go for the ice. Time for a bit of a rough and tumble. Ah, oh, that's right. I think the bear is like their god or some nonsense. All right. Yes. A simple task. Oh my god, these little creatures are so annoying. Oh. Okay. Alright. There is a million of them. Olsa? My flaming will cut you down to size. Frosty. Death! What you want? Go for the ice, boo! Go for the ice! Ah! You rang? Where to now? Of course! <laughs> yeah. Good girl, Minsk! Yes. Alright, let's uh -huh. level up. She should have some more spells. Two more spells since we have the Ring of Wizardry. Excellent. Oh, we'll probably memorize another charm. And probably a color spray for right now. What now, I wonder? Where to now? A simple task. Form up, posse. Olsa? Uh. Uh. Into the cave. What is it this time? Hmm. Uh, I pity you for your short lifespan. Uh. 
That was probably a waste of a spell, but it's alright. Jack that bear up. May darkness prevail. Now I will go and do Some no. more stuff to identify. Alright. A little inventory management. I gotta get that potion case. Cause I have like potions all over the place. I think that's a flail plus one and these are like AC bracers so let's identify them uh. okay yay what now I'm done and done a simple task basically we're trying to like get to the null compound as quick as possible without resting. <laughs> Time for a bit of a rock and tumble. And there's also like a guy over here who sells cursed uh, potions and cursed scrolls. And we want to, we actually want to get that. So unless they, unless they changed it in the 2.0 update. Flaming or uh, possibly frosty. That is basically how we will get rid of uh, people in our party we don't want without getting them killed. We will just give them the cursed scroll of petrification and turn them into a statue. We then remove them from the party. And then add whoever we want. Alright, um, might as well explore this map. I'll be back when something interesting happens. Alright, and here's Buddha, the guy who sells all the cursed stuff. Um, and basically, what we want to buy is a scroll of protection from petrification because I forget if you kill him if it spawns on his body so we will buy it for 25 gold and then give it to the NPC and that NPC will turn into stone and we can remove him from the party well, I think we should be able to attack him before he leaves go as well. for the eyes boy. go for the eyes maybe Chase them. Uh, couldn't, couldn't do both. Not, no worries. I basically just wanted this protection scroll. And you probably could have killed him, and I think he drops the scroll. I just, I just wasn't, wasn't sure. But I didn't want to take that chance. And then we should be able to go from here to the Null Stronghold and do Mint's quest. Done and done. And I'll probably just go right to the quest. <laughs> I will show you justice or possibly frosty death. Uh, 
Nice. And we'll take that right. Of course, you. Oh, thank goodness someone came by. There's a bear on the other side of the bridge and it's coming this way. Please hold it off. I'll give you anything. All right. And we could get to the stronghold right now. Task. Let's go kill this bear. Thunder, just retreat. Alright, and we got our level up. Alright, we'll probably level up here. Alright, now I wonder. Alright, let's go go back and talk to what was this guy's name? Jared or some nonsense? Yeah, come here, Jared. I hope you're not related to the freaking subway guy. At least you got a hundred experience <sighs> points. Casting spells isn't as easy as I make it look. I'm tired. I must Where rest. Let's level up, mighty Dunder. Now I could go three of long sword, but I might as well just max out two weapon style. I mean that's basically like a uh, plus two to hit with offhand. And. Let's see, what does this give you? It is tough. I mean, we, basically it's a plus two either way. But this is a plus three for damage and an extra half attack. So we got extra half attack here. So right now it's minus four. Uh. Hmm, let's see. Does it matter? I think we will just max this out first and then just max long short out. Yeah. Alright, 16 and 16. Oh, hold on. There we go. 13 and 16 is not bad. And he should be at two attacks. Oh, two and a half attacks. And then once we get three in longsword, he'll be at three attacks. And he definitely needs a little armor bump now since he doesn't have a shield, but that is okay. Uh, the Coney can get the book. My training did not prepare me for such extended. We'll probably activity. rest. Oh, we were waylaid by an enemy. Chuck! Must rest. Let that case of armor change. You rang? Oh, I'm getting a little sleepy. What now? All I'm right. done. I'm done. You have been waylaid by enemies and Where's must defend yourself. Form up, posse. A simple task. 
My blade will cut you down to size. Get out of there, Minsk. Jesus, I just freaking healed you. Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um. Now I wonder. Where to now? Night Singer, give me. We power. only got two heal spells. Yes. Alright, Nith gets unheld, now we can go to the compound. Alright, I think we're going to leave off here and do the compound next episode. See you guys then.